Hello everyone, welcome back to the shed. I am Lonnie. Hey, I'm Candace. Welcome back. Well, I pulled a viewer question this morning, so we're going to uh, talk about that and then we'll go ahead and put orders to get out today. Um, this question is from Rock Chica. Chica? Rock Chica, probably. I have a question for Lonnie. What big purchases would you have not bought if Candace wasn't working with you that you wouldn't even have considered or thought about? Hmm, big purchases what I, that I would not have bought. This is a good question. And man, you just went right into the question first thing. People are like that. Yeah. <laughs> Most people don't just get right into it. Get down to business. Yeah. So uh, that's a good question because uh, I would say at this point, most of them, wouldn't you? Most, most big purchases. Most of the purchase. big buys, yeah. Um, so like. Well, the no, no, that's not true. It is true. It's not. Like take, for instance, a Lola's Pet Shop. I was, we were at a garage sale when we bought all that and I was kind of iffy about it because I never dealt with it before and Lonnie kind of pushed it. Yeah, but that was a, that was a lot of stuff, but it was only like, Candace is talking about a buy that's like $40. <laughs> like seriously, I, the, I'm the one that went up there and said, well, how much you want for all of it? Yeah. Now it ended up being 40 bucks, but no, I'm talking about like the big money. Okay. Like, so like these nutcrackers. Mm -hmm. That was 100% Candace's idea. Yeah. And not only was it her idea, I mean, she of course, obviously she didn't just like, like go, you know. Sometimes he thinks I'm nuts. <laughs> no, I don't. No, I don't. I, no, yeah. I think. But you, this one, no, it was definitely a mutual decision. Yeah. It, it wasn't just like me, hey, we're going by these nutcrackers. No, not at all. I mean, we, we discussed it. We, we researched it. We did like, we did like a couple hours of research before we even considered doing it. We wanted to do it bad, but we also know that like once we once we get a bee in our bonnet, we got to be careful not to not to only see the positive sides of a buy to like really try and you know do due diligence there. I think as far as that goes, one of the things to consider is that you are not the type to just sit and look for deals on Facebook no. like I do. You nope. never were even before I started working nope. here. And here, when I was still at the bank, he didn't do that. But I would, even though I wasn't part of the business at that point, I would find deals for him and, and shoot, send it over to him, you know. Candace likes doing that. And so the Nutcracker, the $6,000 Nutcracker buy, that's all her. Mm -hmm. And if y'all don't don't know, like this is, I can't hardly walk in here sometimes mm -hmm. lately. We got, these are all listed. Those are all listed. Those are all listed, and that is pretty. Not only can us buy, like make the these two rows make the decision to buy them all, or come up with the whole idea. She's also done pretty much all the listing work too. I'm just the packer, the cracker packer. Well, that's the hard part. And these are all these are listed too. Yes. These are not listed Got yet. To get on that stack over there. But this has pretty much been her entire project. Now, another. I'm thinking about other recent big buys we've done. Crown Royal bags. That was a huge buy, but it was... Crown Royal bags is a lot of stuff. Yeah. That was your idea. Bonnie, I don't think you were too sure about that one, huh? Well, no, nah, uh, I was. Somebody did um, actually make a comment wondering if we if we would do that buy again. Was it worth it? I think so. When we pulled that other one the other day. And I did add up our sales. Um, our sales are gross profit is a little over eight hundred dollars right now on the now. crown royal bags mm -hmm. yeah i would definitely do that again yeah might change the way we sell them like give up a little bit of that profit to sell larger bundles and get yeah. it over with faster but other than that no we made a killing on that stuff yeah we're pretty much done there's only 13 lots of 10 bags left yeah. down there so the other um another big buy we made the crown royal buy was that wasn't a bit like what we spent like a couple hundred bucks or something yeah i mean it, but but the other big buy we made um was monster high dolls that you see us pulling all the time yeah that was a huge buy um candace found that too in a facebook group yeah for monster high dolls they were talking about how hey guys you can get them here found this on clearance yeah i just we, happened to stumble upon this post i wasn't like searching for anything i was just browsing internet and it popped up in my browsing facebook and it popped up in my feed so know? be careful if you're in any, any like uh fan type groups or whatever or collector groups i'm watching be careful what you <laughs> say because there might just be a dirty reseller in your midst Going, oh, where where that where'd you get that you say, hey? 
Huh? Where was that again? I'm watching. How much was that? <laughs> so yeah, Candace came up with that, and I actually pushed back on that one. You know, you know what he said because I, I pulled up the Walmart app where you can pull put in your particular store and see if they have stuff in stock. And I said, look, they have them. And Lonnie's like, no, they don't. They're not going to have them. We've been through this before. They're, and we have. We have. We were looking for a heater one time. We were, we're, oh, we're, there's all, there's been countless times. Yeah. There's been countless times where, Lonnie, they have this on sale. We could get five of them. We can make this much money. And we go, I'm like, okay, let's go. And we go and we're like, they're not there. Well, the app says this. Well, they're not there. Everybody understands that, right? Yeah. And we've done this so many times. So Candace. He was like, he was like, he was ready to bet me money that they were not there. It was a cold, rainy Saturday. We had nothing else going on. I'm like, let's go. So we went and we found and we're like, okay, let's try another store. And we found and we kept going to the next store. We, we ended up going to what, like maybe eight stores. And yeah. we, I think we bought them at like five of the eight stores or something. We drove like 300 miles or something. It was ridiculous. Yeah. We spent like, I think, I want to say we spent like six hours on this project. It was kind of fun. It was a rush. Like It was. We get to a store and oh, they have them. Load up the shopping cart. It was fun. Right. And then right after that was over, we watched, we, we kept watching the price on eBay. <laughs> <laughs> for the full sets. Right, for the full sets. Yeah. We figured it out. Yeah. Or Candace figured it out. So really, like, as far... Unless it's just something that... A situation where we're at a garage sale or an estate sale. And I start looking around. And I'm like, ooh, I might be able to bundle something up here. There's plenty of times you do bulk buy. And I'm like, mm. I do that a lot. Yeah. Like, you mean at garage sales? Yeah. Yeah, yeah like, uh, like, like all the... the beer steins. Like the spark plugs. If y'all just saw the uh, the spark plugs that I that we bought this past weekend, guess what? We sold our first ones. Well, <laughs> I'll show it to y'all. We sold uh, our first set of spark plugs. I listed, I think, 15 sets yesterday for around a couple hundred bucks. Yeah. And we sold a set a little while ago for twenty dollars. Yeah, twenty five. No, it's twenty plus ship is oh, what was it was. It? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep. So as far as like finding the big deals. Uh, that's pretty much 100% Candace. Yeah. Or even actually finding in, everything we find is 100% Candace because even though I go to garage sales and estate sales, I never ever plan any of it anymore. I don't touch it. I don't touch it. Candace, in the morning, Candace gets her phone and I don't know anything about where we're he going. I don't know where we're going, how many we have to go to. I don't know. I know nothing. <laughs> I know I I don't know anything. I just get in and the her phone tells me where to go. And usually at night after we've had dinner and everything's kind of settled down, I don't really watch TV. I'll get on my phone and start looking for deals, you know. So yep. So Candace is Candace is the deal hunter. Uh like so good, yeah. I like a good deal. I have a question for Lonnie. What big purchases would you not have bought if Candace wasn't working with you that you wouldn't even have considered or thought about? every single one of them since she's been working with me except for the ones where people have reached out to us yeah that's a, that's a gimme well the kevin and danielle thing for instance and then mike with the funkos yeah they saw that was because of youtube and beverly beverly was because of youtube yeah. but also because of you because we saw beverly at garage sales yeah and she would talk to you more than me yeah you're because you're kind of scary <laughs> i'm not scary so while we're on the subject of nutcrackers, let's take a look at where we're at right now with them. Okay. All right, so um, you can look at our chart here. We're at 150 crackers right now. <laughs> it always makes me laugh when you just call a nutcracker a cracker. Crackers. But then I'm a cracker. I'm a cracker packer. Yeah. <laughs> um, we're creeping up to 18,000. Probably my next two or three will push us over that number. And I kind of did an eyeball around what's left, and I think we're going to be right around 200 nutcrackers. So, okay. Um, yeah. Which is think, what we want. Yeah, and, I think we'll definitely make at least the 20,000 gross mark. And I think our, I think our, oh, the 20,000 for sure. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's no doubt. I think we're going to be looking closer at like, we'll, we'll be closer to 25. I think I 25,000 gross. Yeah, I mean, like, I've been hit, I've been listing some heavy hitters today. You can see. Yeah, 250, 150, 125, yeah. 200, 150, 125, 100. That's all the ones in the boxes. They knew which ones to take care of. Right. So, 
Um, speaking of that, we had somebody message us. Um, we're working out a deal, and this is what's interesting about the international shipping through eBay. Normally, we can just combine shipping if they buy on multiple purchases without checking out all at once. Yeah. We can kind of just combine it and just refund them the difference. You can't do that with eBay. Or combine it and tell them how much it's going to cost to ship. Right. And then send an invoice. Yeah, we, th we can't do that. eBay takes care of all the shipping. Um, we send it to their center. It's in Illinois, I think. Yeah. And then they take care of it from there. They may even open it and repackage it or whatever, but it's all in their hands. At but that you point. can't combine them. Right. Like once somebody buys something from you, you can't combine and refund and do all these other little things you can do like on a domestic order. Yeah. Because e eBay has to process it all like Candace said. Yeah. So she, uh, she bought a nutcracker and paid for it and then messaged us. She has three more that she's interested in, and um, she wants to know if we can combine them and combine the shipping for her to give her a better deal. And the only way that we could figure out to do that is we have to cancel what she already bought and put up like a private listing type thing with all four. With a bundle and then have mm -hmm. the box size and weight and everything. And then, and only then, will she even know how much the shipping is going to cost. And then at that point, she may say, no, I don't want to do that. It's going to cost too much to ship. Right. Oh, wait, maybe I don't want the one that they canceled. <laughs> well, it's fair. You know, it's fair, though, for her to want to know what the shipping is going to cost. Absolutely, yeah. So, but, I mean, we just don't... Yeah, that's the fault. One of the faults in shipping through eBay International. So. Yeah, I mean, it. yeah, it just makes... It's a little bit of a hassle. Yeah. But in this case, it's worth it for us to go ahead go through the motions and and if she wants to do that we'll make a listing she can look at the shipping figure out if she wants to do it or not yeah uh, because just because of the size of the order if she wants a total of i think 575 dollars in crackers yeah so that's why this box is out now one of the ones she wants is it's in that box. box and the other three are loose and the other three are loose but of course they're not going to be that size and i pack them yeah and actually i'm not even going to use this box if it happens i'm going to use one of these lowe's boxes i like them better because they're a little they're wider yeah so the the home depot boxes are longer and more narrow right the the lowe's gives you more uh, width. more width yeah so it, more I, width and they're like four inches shorter i think which is fine too yeah so now we've kind of gotten together like we figured out i figured out a size and a weight and told her what the plan would be if she wanted to buy all four because i got to be honest with y'all i am not interested in shipping um four of these big expensive nutcrackers internationally with this size box yeah i don't even know how much that would cost right i don't like or what meth i guess i don't even know I, i've never shipped anything that big myself anything i've ever shipped large that went international was always through uh, global shipping program. Uh, that, what come one thing that comes to mind is that big metal. Uh, what was that? That Spanish conquistador or whatever. Yeah, yeah, the one. Yeah, the I shipped that. I shipped that that guy v, v, via yeah, GSP, yeah. and on that one, I remember that um, because I shipped it and my customer received um, the wrong thing. They received a bunch of car parts instead. <laughs> And that wasn't the first time. I, another time, and I we didn't we didn't ship out car parts. No. It happened at eBay's uh, shipping center. Right, they eBay, mixed up the packages. Somehow. They mixed it up. Mm -hmm. Actually, it was Pitney Bowes at the time because they were still GSP. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they mess mixed it up that time. Another time, if you're really old school viewer, you'll remember this: sold a clown for a hundred dollars to somebody, <laughs> and somewhere. I can't remember. I think it was. I think it was the UK. Yeah. Somebody in the UK bought a clown for a hundred dollars. All right. That's not the story. The story is they open up their packages, a cocktail dress. Yeah. Instead of a clown. Somebody that was expecting a dress got a clown. Yeah. Here, wear this to your fancy party. <laughs> yeah. So. So the, I mean, at that time, just like with the eBay international shipping, it wasn't on us because it had gone into someone else's hands before that happened right so. and i'll and as i always say when we mention that uh still not good because bad customer experience bad, bad i want 
I want customers worldwide to have a good customer experience. Yeah. Because you don't know, like, any of those times where something got swapped like that and they didn't get what they ordered, what are they going to do next time they see something, next time they, they want to buy something online? Yeah. They're going to think of that. Right. Yeah. That you could lose a customer forever for something they like may, that. They may never buy anything on eBay again That's from right. overseas, you know. That's right. All right, well, we got some orders to pull. We had a pretty decent sales day yesterday, so let's get to it. All right, first item is in the cube. It's a um, Canon lens, 18 to 55 millimeter. Yep. That sold for 35. Okay. We, uh, we bought we, we did get that in a buy that uh we're going to talk about in just a minute after we get everything pulled yeah next item is six alpha mario kart we six i think i put i put six alpha but i, I must <laughs> i must really be six bravo mario kart we special digest version From it's this edition. yeah Oh, okay. it's a guide, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Ten dollars for that. Okay. We have another camera lens in the cube. We sure do. The zoom lens, Canon. Yep, seventy-five to three hundred zoom. We sold that for seventy. Okay. And then CC six, the Canon body for parts only. CC six. Yeah, this Canon. This Canon T5 DSLR, uh, I never tested it or anything. It didn't have a battery or charger, but it did have a note, and I did talk to the people, and they said it doesn't read SD cards, so just listed that as parts only. 40 bucks for that. Okay. So what did you pay? You paid 50 for that whole buy, including one Yeah, we got one more thing, thing to pull. Yeah. Right. Six Delta, butt set. Yeah, butt set. Butt set. I got a butt set right here. No. <laughs> this is a fluke butt set. And basically, if you look at the, usually they'll have, um, it's called a bed of nails, a bunch of little bitty nails that can go through a wire. So you can clip onto to like a pair of wires without having to splice into them or anything. And uh, yeah, telephone repairmen and whatnot use these. So, so for 50 and everything pretty much right after you listed it sold yeah i listed i'm taking that aside because that's been listed for a while bought um the camera both lenses and this for 40 dollars. yeah and yeah so we sold what would you say 35 105 145 we got 195 in sales off of that $40. Yep, and, and it so all sold quickly. And it all, yep. yeah, that was a really good flip. <laughs> all right, in the smallest drawer, Mortal Kombat 2 for P PS4. Sold that for $13.49. Okay. That was, I don't, actually, I don't remember where that was. You know what, I think we actually, I think I spent like $4 on that at a garage sale. Okay. Uh, two Alpha, a Euro Pro, Euro Massage Pro. Two Alpha. Massager. Ah. Yep, I see it. It is right. Right here. Okay. On TV. Yep, that came from Kevin and Danielle by too. Yeah. Three Charlie Italian. One. One. Okay. How many do we have over there? Uh, let's see. We have. I'm gonna pull the one that sold. We have three more, so we need to go yeah. restock our shelf. Yeah. All right, this sold for $30. It was on sale for 25% uh, off sale. Next item is a Razor R39. Okay. Sold that for $18. That drawer's starting to get empty again. Yeah, it is. I, I kind of shoved them up there. I was looking to see what else I could fit in here. Yeah. I do have some more Razors to list once we get it's done gonna be a, nutcrackers. It's going to be a while before you do that. 
Probably next week sometime. Oh, you think? Yeah. Okay. Maybe. Next item is Six Alpha Nintendo Power Premier Issue Magazine. Sold that for $10. It's right here. I think I may have listed this the same day as that, I believe. That's crazy. In the bolo drawer, Sony faceplate. Alrighty. Do you say Sony or so so Sony? How do you say Who would say Sony? <laughs> I don't know. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I feel like I'm saying it wrong when I say Sony. No, it's Sony. I've never, like, of all, I, I pronounce lots of things wrong, and I've heard different pronunciations for stuff. I've never heard anybody say anything other than Sony. All right, $13 for that. Okay, I mean, I might be wrong. <laughs> we say other things wrong and get corrected, so. Yeah. Uh, one Delta Cat Treats. Oh, yeah. See, that ended up being a good buy. Yep. We bought these Cat Treats. For $5. Yep, sold them for 25 Okay, that's good. That's everything that is not UPS going Yeah, on. We, we haven't, yeah, right. We have a couple two, of... Two more orders. Yeah, we have two more orders to pull. And uh, yeah. I think they're, but they both might be UPS, at least one of them. So let me go ahead and get this stuff packed. All right, got all the USPS stuff out. What we got now? All right, so our next order has two nutcrackers on it. It has Ebenezer Scrooge and Bob Cratchit with Tiny Tim. They're both on 12 Charlie. Let's go look. I think there's a here. All right. So this is Charlie. 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 That's one of them. Yeah. He's got he's literally got a money bag. Yeah. Bob Cratchit. He's got the money bag. And money bags always have big dollar signs on them. I know. Like, uh, I have you have to, to let everybody know, this is my money bag. You have to remember if I ever get a money sack to put a dollar sign yeah. on. Yeah, you gotta let everybody know. Yeah. That's Tiny Tim. Yeah. That's Tiny Tim. What is that thing he's holding? That's his crutch. He couldn't, you know. He oh, that's didn't right. Handicap. That's right. Yeah. Bob, Bob Cratchit. Yeah. All right. So those sold, let's see. Um, Ebenezer sold for fifty-five, and Cratchit for fifteen for sixty. Okay, yeah. good. And then um, the last item is on the wall. It's oh, a big easy sign. Yeah. I'm gonna be sad to see it go. I kind of like it. Do you? Yeah. I don't. I don't. It doesn't do anything for me. Really? No, I'm fine. I think it's all the bright colors. I'm fine with it leaving. The colors are cool on it. Well, we paid uh, seven dollars for that. Yep at a garage sale and we got 45 45 yeah. okay all right let me get this stuff packed and uh then i can finally get to some listing all right i'm down to packing this sign and i've been really not looking forward to this the the issue with the sign is it's 20 it's 20 inches diameter which is a really weird measurement for the boxes we have i don't really have anything exactly like that so here's what I'm doing. I'm taking a small box and Candace measured it. It's 28 inches all the way across, okay? And the sign's 20, I want at least an inch. So let's do the math. We got 28 minus 20, that leaves us eight inches. Min minus, I want an inch buffer on either side. Minus, also need some kind of depth to this box, right? So I measured off three inches here and then drew a line and then I also measured off three inches on the other side, drew a line. And now what I'm gonna do, and now what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna take my scoring tool. I mean, if you don't have one of these, you can use, you can use anything. You can use the back of a, a, back of a knife or whatever you wanna do to score it. So whenever I do score on the outside, I usually reinforce on the outside with tape on those seams. So uh, let me go ahead and build this out and I'll show you what we're gonna do. All right, so now you can see the sign will fit in here. And then I have this edge here. So Candace, you can kind of hold it up there, mm -hmm. see? So it'll fit good. Now the only issue I have is this box is just the right size up and down with mm -hmm. the sign to give the right amount of space. So I don't have any room to make flaps 
So what I'm gonna do is just do something like this again, or I might just go wrap cardboard around it. Mm -hmm. But uh, yeah, that's how I'm gonna do it. And this is what we ended up with here. You can see I have the sign in there. I'm gonna, I am gonna put some paper on the front and back to kind of center it. And uh, also a little on the top. I already put some on the bottom there and I'll put a little on the top too. And then this is gonna get, you can see here, I started doing it here. This will get wrapped to make a sturdy box when I get done. So let me put this together. And this is the final result. This is not that pretty. However, I think it is, um, I think it's, I think it's a really good pack. I'm happy with it. And I used one of these medium boxes. I did see this, these flaps on this side. I cut the other flaps off and I saved them on my uh, shipping shelf for later if I need them. But th this was a, uh, this is one of the boxes that the nut, one of the, some of the nutcrackers came in. So yeah, I'm happy with that pack. It ended up being 24, 24, three. Alrighty, that's going to be it for this one. Thanks a bunch for watching, and we will see y'all again very soon. Bye, y'all. Bye.